okay welcome everyone to cg build up and today we are going to i am going to actually show you actually give it to you a free roof generator something that i promised sometime long time ago when i was still beginning in this channel and right now we are about um we have passed the 100 subscribers which i thank you guys so much it really means a lot to me and currently we at the time of recording we are at 110 uh, again i say thank you and if you like the content that i'm providing to you exactly at this moment please feel free give a like really helps out a lot to grow the channel without any further ado let's get into this tutorial on how you're going to use this free rooftop procedure rooftop generator which i call roofface so this is how it works if you're familiar with actually the rooftops that looks like this sort of wavy in a manner in this sort of way and you wanted to make a roof uh, just turn a face into a roof really quick this node that i made can be very helpful for that case so for example if i just tab into the edit mode and if I just uncheck this one, and you can see that initially all these faces, all the roofs were actually just these faces. And what this node does, it just converts the faces into roofs, hence the name roof face. Okay, simple as that. So let me just show you how it works. It's a very simple node, like the settings that are here are very few anyway. So I'm just going to delete this and i'm going to add in a plane simple like that so it turned into a roof and i'm just gonna scale it then we can do a loop cut and just grab that loop cut along the z and it automatically adjusts so that it can actually look like an actual rooftop okay i can scale these two parts along the x Okay, and select these two edges, you know, fill them up, select this edge, grab it along the Y, you know, you can also make make a small cutout here, something like maybe um, K, I'm just going to cut like this, and we cut from here to somewhere, somewhere here something like this press enter you know can select this triangle that we made here and just extrude it on the x and something that you have to note that the faces that you're going to make into roofs just make sure that they are planar because roofs have a planar structure so if you want to go crazy like make that susan monkey of blender of the blender into a roof just make sure it might not work because there's some faces of the f of the um of the susan monkey is not actually planar enough so just make sure the faces of the mesh are planar because roofs have a certain planar like structure so and yeah simply like that just extrude it forms roofs in an expected way that a roof would look in a building okay so i'm going to maybe select this vertex here just grab it along the y because i right now i to show you something else because i think now you actually get the point this thing m converts you know faces into roofs simply just simply like that okay so let me tap out so something else um this profile that you made that i made is made here these it's they is controlled by an object which is this one here you can just grab it along the y somewhere there it's all this is controlled by this tiny tiny stuff here so if you want to change how this part looks you have to alter this part or you can make your own and select it later okay and 
if I forgot to mention this file is free you can just take it from the description or in the comment section another one is the UV directives which I will talk and this is the material and this is the UV offset view and this is the offset the roof offset whereby you just you know just move the roof to the side somewhere like you know away and this is for the purpose of setting your UVs as you are modeling so for example maybe um let me just select this one you can decide maybe something maybe let me move it along the Y somewhere here so you can decide to make your roof here and you see its effect somewhere there but the purpose of this was for setting your UVs okay so I'm just going to go to the materials something like that now I used an image for the purpose of demonstration I didn't use an actual texture and what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to just um, actually let me go to the geometry node workspace and go to the shader editor and go to the yeah so the material for this roof which I selected here is governed by this shader here and there so this geometry node already creates the UV after the making of the entire roof okay and in order to access that UV you have to type in its name here and refer it into this node here and you'll get the UV through this vector input here and if you want to have more control on the UVs that's why I kept the UV directives okay UV directives collection and this uh, and the UV offset view and also the shade shade smooth I think that is very self-explanatory but this UV directives collection which might be something that is intimidating at first and this UV offset view so let me just show you what I mean okay see in the UV editor we have some option to select like an island on a UV island and scale it up you know and rotate it and move it but so that you can have that control in the same same way while using this this is why I made this roof uv directive collection where i selected this collection somewhere here so what have look what happens if i check on you will see this thing happening here these are actually the uvs the uv map for this what you're seeing right now and what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to add in an empty plane axis okay just like that and I want to I want you to see. Let me just go back to the layout and move somewhere on the top. And I want you to see if I drop this and move it somewhere here. Okay, you can. There is a face that is being affected right now. And if I just scale this, you can clearly see that this face over here is being affected. So this empty here controls the UV for this part so I can sort of rotate this and you can see along the Z and you can see it starts to take an effect on this thing you can scale it in any axis or along the Y or along the X you know to create those stretchy effects okay and if you don't want to see it despite you already made these changes you can just grab this along the Z and move it to certain level and it disappears but don't worry the uvs haven't disappeared that's why if i scale this along the x you see it's an it's an it's an effect has been done okay and if i grab this along the z you can start seeing it so it's like that and if you want to control others you need to you know add more and you can see for that one he's already seen 
Or you can grab this along the Z to see it. Something like that. You know, you can scale it, rotate it along the Z to bring that effect to have more controls on your UV coordinates when well, when you are making um, your roofs. And that's typically all. There is nothing really more. This thing has very few control, very few controls, but I bet it can be useful in various projects that you may be having. So, if you liked what you saw, you can grab it off from the description in the uh, in the you can grab the blend file via the Google Drive folder in the description. And yeah, have fun, enjoy it, and I hope you will find it useful. And if you do click the sub that fucking subscribe button because i really need your support and other than that have a good one